What is going on guys, it is Will or Will P Concepts from Isometric Obsession and today's tutorial is going to be based on render settings. Render settings is actually a really important topic due to the um, importance that it has in the final product. So let's get on with it. So I've just made a simple little scene here with the castle and a bit of grass and I'll render it out and show you that it looks really basic and plasticky if you render it without. I've just got a simple physical sky and if you render it without any render settings enabled I guess you could say um, it looks really cheap and fake I guess you could say so what you want to do you want to go to render settings edit render settings and the first thing well I just work my way down the side here and the first thing I would go to is obviously output and go to this little arrow here and go to film slash video and HDTV 1080 29.97 now that's the standard um, ratio, width height ratio I would use for um, a standard render. But if you're rendering like really high quality, like 2 or 4K, you'd go down here to film 2K or film 4K, and that will give you really high quality. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to stick with the 920 by 1080, just because it takes it doesn't take as long to um, render. Next, you want to go to save and click these three little dots here, and this basically says where you want to save it. I'm just saving it as test in a tutorial folder, and I'll want to save it as a PNG. Now, if you're rendering text and want to put it over something, or rendering a little island and want to put it over something, or just a little model and you want it to be transparent in the background, you click this box, alpha channel, but I'm not going to be doing that, so I'll untick that for now. Just skip multipass and go to anti-aliasing. And it's normally on ge geometry. Change it to best. And then change the minimum level to 2x2 two two and the maximum level to 8x8. Eight eight. Um, you don't have to really modify any options. But the next thing you have to do is go to effect, ambient occlusion. And um, this basically... Ambient occlusion is basically a shading method that is a, that is global in nature, which means basically means that the light slash illumination from each point in the scene can influence other points in a scene. So the light can be shared basically. And the next thing you want to do is global illumination. And global illumination is basically a general name for a group of algorithms used in a 3D computer graphics that are meant to add more realistic lighting to 3D scenes. And algorithms are self-contained step-by-step set of operations to be performed. So it basically adds more realistic lighting. And these two um, little render effects, I guess you could call them, they add a big difference. Because if I render it out now, it, you'll see these little like mesh codes things. And you can already see, once it starts rendering, it looks a lot more realistic and vibrant and just more real. And we'll just let that render out a bit more. And you can see even the shadows look a lot more detailed and all the highlights are really nice. But I'm not going to render the whole thing. I'll render the whole thing and show you at the end of the video. But yeah, this is basically it. Render settings are super important for a project because it can be the make or break, make or break in a project. So just make sure you have all these settings and you can save it as a custom render setting down here um, if you don't want to do it every time. Or you can just create your own Lightroom, which is basically what you do every time. But create your own Lightroom, save the render settings, and then save that as your personal Lightroom, then just go back to that every time. That's a handy way of keeping track of um, not having to edit the render settings every time you go back. So this has been it for this week's tutorial. Um, drop a subscription if you like these tutorials and drop a like if you like this specific tutorial. And comment on what comment below on what can be improved or what was good in this um, tutorial. And Yep, see you in the next video.